Thank you to my patrons for supporting this video. Right, hello fellow engineers. This is this is quite a random one. So this is a little 2D game. It's free. It's called what is it called? <laughs> it's called Sinking Simulator. And essentially, it's just like a well, a fluid simulator really. So there's loads of ships and stuff, and you can just plop them in the water. And oh, oh, that went underwater. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, I think that actually flooded the ship. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Well, that didn't go very well. So yeah, essentially, you've got all these ships. You can see, like, how they work in terms of fluids and floating and stuff. Okay, that one might be a goner. Let's, let's try again. And we'll, we'll plop them in gently. So you can see the PM Packmaster. And then down here, you have a few different tools. So you can flood an area, like, internally in the ship. You can dry an area if you flood it accidentally. Or you can use this one, which is the break tool. So you can literally just delete stuff of the boat. So if we were to do that all the way down. It's caving in on itself. That's like <laughs> thousands of people dying. <laughs> I'm just laughing. I probably shouldn't laugh at stuff like that. Or you can just like create a hole and see how the water entering the ship would fill up. So you can see they're kind of split into sections and then they all fill up with water. Can you see that? So we'll try out a few of these boats. So we've got like a cargo ship here. Assume we can just cut a hole through the cargo. That won't do anything. If we go down to there... Oh, so you can see the front of the boat is all filling up and it's going down. Oh god, what is this one? <laughs> what have I done? Right, so we've even got front of the ship view. And this is actually the Titanic. Whoa. See there's a little icebergy hole there. Oh, can you see she's filling up? Oh, she's going over, she's going over! Damn! And then you can see, you've probably seen like when ships actually break in real life or sink in real life. They do sort of just do that and that's why, because they fill up with water and that weighs them down on the one side. Okay, probably shouldn't show that one. Twin Towers. Bit... Bit soon? Is that the right word? <laughs> oh god. Look out. Boosh! Oh no, the tail fell off. <laughs> oh, a load of water got in. You see it's all pouring in the back end? That's pretty cool. So that's actually okay, but I can take this and sort of flood wherever I want, and you are dead, Sunshine. Oh, look, the weight of the water snapped it in half. We have a squirt. What? what? What's, what was the point of that? <laughs> yeah, so this is a massive mofo, and you can kind of see all the internals on this one. So it's almost like a cross section. Oh, I just break. <laughs> I don't. I just broke it in half. It looks like it's gonna survive though. <laughs> so you can see, even though it broke completely in half, because it's all segmented in, on the insides, it's actually okay. So say this half a ship were to suddenly get a leak there. Can you see everything's filling with water? That's pretty cool. But it's like, it's all blocked. So whoever designed this ship knew that even if you like proper lose that section, let's up the tool size. So even if there's a massive hole there, you see, it's all gone now. The ship's fine. For example, at the front, say we hit an iceberg and it just rips a huge hole. Because it's segmented, it's fine. You can see we've ripped the wall there. So all these different segments are filling up. You can see it slowly starts to add weight. That's really good simulation, to be fair. So if we were to just... Oh, God. Oh, she's going down. She is going down now. I literally just got torn apart there and cut the chimneys off. See ya. And straight down the middle. <laughs> right, so we have here a floating skyscraper. Uh, oh, and it seems to be breaking. Oh god. It's. Oh sh. Okay, it decided to fall for some reason. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Look at it get destroyed. It's so detailed. Uh, anyway, yeah, may have left that on screen too long. Let's. let's Rebuild that one. Alright, so this is a thousand story skyscraper. Whoa, and it's really tripping me out. So if I zoom right in, you can see it's so detailed. But alright, let's go to the top, which is a long way up. And uh, let's fill it with some water. So let's say some, I don't know, some water got in. I'm filling it up. Can you see it all flowing down? Oh, where's it gone? Oh, shit. What happened there? Alright, we're filling it all with water and it's not happy. Whoa. It's coming down in a big way. 
Alright, so we've got a bridge level. This is epic, look at that. So we can have some proper fun with this one. we got a little boat in here as well. I think we should sink the boat first. We'll just make a little hole at the front. And just, ooh, that is nose heavy. That is very nose heavy now. Oh dear, she's going down. She is going down. The back end's rising. That's why ships rise at the back end. Because these front segments fill up with water. And then it disappears. See a ship. Wow. Okay, what can we do with this bridge? I don't like destroying bridges, but sometimes it just has to be done. So, I don't know how realistic the physics are. I'm just wondering if I were to chop them. Oh, it does seem to... Boing, 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 boing. Oh, wow. Okay, this is really cool. This actually seems to work. What? So this is probably more realistic to how bridges would collapse compared to like when you see in like films. For example, let's just say the deck gets destroyed. Can you see bridge still does hold itself, which kind of would be the case. Say these wires snap, it would start doing that sort of thing. This is really quite realistic. I'm really impressed. I think they would probably snap by now, but I'm guessing the game doesn't take like material strength into account really. But yeah, now that's going down. Boosh. But this end fine, and it probably would be fine. Because that's sort of the weakest point. I mean, that could drag the rest down. It's actually trying to do it. There you go. And it's gone. It's gone. Whoa, this is really quite good. So she's falling in. Boosh. Oh, wow. Look at it. Look at that middle one. It's like it's like one of those wavy, happy, flappy arm hands. No, she's going down. <laughs> and the ship survived. Oops, I slipped. <laughs> Alright, so we've got a multi-span bridge here, and look at the detail, like you zoom in, you've got these tiny little... I'm going to turn my cutter right down, so it's proper bouncing. I just wonder if I were to cut, like... So I've cut all of those ones, what if I then cut all of these ones? Didn't do anything, are they just for look? What about that bit? <laughs> it's balancing on that, oh shit! So that's the weak point, boosh. Oh, look at those bits, we'll stretch, oh! Oh, now it looks like a knee. Oh, look at them stretch. I don't know why that really freaks me out. Oh, it's so gross. Wow. I don't even know what that is. I wonder if I were to, like, chop the bottoms off. Will they turn into a boat? They look like they're, like, houseboat. Houseboats? Is that a thing? But as the still sinks, the houses are still safe. Alright, so we got this wicked ship. Like, look at the internals. There's so much going on. I'd say in someone's bedroom here, they, uh, they left the shower on. But it floods. It floods the entire level. Oh, now it's sinking down. So, oh, there's so much water coming out there, shall You see how it spreads throughout the entire place. Oh, that's really cool. Fair play. I think she might be going down. Someone really needs to go turn that tap off. Oh, and the weight at the front of the water is making it go down. The tap's still running as well. <laughs> Someone pull the plug out of the bathtub, man. <laughs> oh, look. All oh, the water's disappearing out the back end. It's all going down the front. So we're getting the classic arse end up in the air. Let's do the classic and just cut the tail off. Boosh. Nice. Can the tail survive on its own? Alright, that boat is done. See like, Oh, and it hits the floor and disintegrates. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> unicorns do not float. I can confirm. Unicorns do not float. The unicorn's feet have just come off. And it's split in half. <laughs> Sorry, unicorn. Ah, oh, so now we have one of these things. So it's the classic. You always see these on like Facebook posts and stuff. It's like, which, which one will fill first? So let's say if I were to fill this with water, which one will fill first? A, B, C, D, E, F, or G? Well, I'm going to guess fill means overflow. So I'm going to say it's probably going to be... Now I'm going to say this one. Hey, I don't know actually. I'm guessing this one, but we'll see how it works. So ready? So the water's gone in. Ooh, I don't know. Depends how fast that right bit fills up. Because that is a bigger pipe, so I'm guessing it should be this one that fills up. I don't know how the head works. Oh, it looks like it might be the middle one, actually. This is very tight. Very tight race. Oh, look how close it is. Oh, it was bottom left. Yes, I was right. Awesome. Yes, yeah, so that was Sinking Simulator. If you want to check that out on Steam, it's free. 
You can't complain with free. Oh no, it snapped in half. Oh, the golden boat. But yeah, as always, thank you to the patrons for letting me play some random, random games. I don't know what this one is all about. Peace, love, bridges, and broken boats. Catch you next time, guys. Bye.